Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to 12 Days of Nerdmas. Today is day 12. We finally made it! I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't want to record any more videos. But I will, like I said, after this video, I'll go back to my regular Sunday videos. So in today's video, in honor of it being the final day, it's being Christmas and all that good stuff, the year is coming to an end, I decided I'm going to do my top 12 favorite pops that I purchased in 2018. Now they're not going to be the top 12 pops like made in 2018 for me, just that I've purchased. So a lot of these are going to be old because you guys know I'm going back trying to build up my Disney collection. So some older pops are going to be in here. But let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 12, we have Gamer Mickey. I'm really digging this pop. I like the fact that they did a different variant of Mickey with it being his 90th anniversary. I used to be really big into gaming and I'm trying to get back into it now. So the fact that they have him playing a video game with his headset on and his hoodie, all that stuff is super cool and his little controller. So I really loved this pop when it came out and when I got it. Number 11. This kind of goes along with the last video that I posted of Steven Universe. So number 11 is Pink Diamond from Steven Universe. The reason I really like this pop is because when this episode, like the first episode revealing who Pink Diamond was came out, it was like a game changer in the Steven Universe world. We really got to understand more of all the characters, their background, the storyline, all that good stuff. So her reveal was really a game changer, so I had to throw her in. Number 10, following along with Steven Universe, is Stevani. I really love this pop because I really love that they're kind of going outside of the box with the Steven Universe characters. They decided to do a fusion who is pretty iconic to the show. Hopefully with the release of Stevani, that means we could see some other fusions in the future maybe, or even Ruby and Sapphire. That's who I really, really want to see. I want to see Ruby and Sapphire by themselves, you know, have Garnet. But Ruby's my favorite character, so I'd love to see her by her lonesome. For number nine, technically this isn't a pop because when it released, it just released as a vinyl figure and not specifically a Funko Pop. And that is Bao. Bao is from the short that aired before the newest Incredibles movie, Incredibles 2. This little dude is super freaking cute. The little short that they showed was awesome up until the very end when his mom ate him. That part creeped me out a little bit. But then you understood like the symbolism behind it and it confused so many people so I loved it even more. And when they made this figure, I was so excited. He's so tiny and cute. Look, you can see his little tushy. Okay, number eight, we have RuPaul from RuPaul's Drag Race. Now RuPaul definitely had to be in there. One, because I freaking love this show. I've seen every episode. I started watching it years and years ago when it first came out. And I don't know, I've just always loved it. I love seeing shows in person. And so having an actual TV show was amazing. And then I also really love that they're taking like this series, this show, and doing all of the people who competed and starting to make pops of them. Not everybody. Right now they have Trixie, Alaska, RuPaul, and then they just came out with Katya and Jinx Mon Monsoon. I'm getting those two. I don't really want Alaska or Trixie, but I just think it's so amazing that they're going you know, that route in pop culture. I think it's absolutely amazing to see and it makes me really excited. Coming in at number seven, we have Robin Hood. Like I said in previous videos before, I really loved the Robin Hood movie when I was little. I used to watch this thing on repeat all the time, like over and over and over again, like most of the other Disney movies out there. But I really had a soft spot for this movie for some reason. And I picked this guy up on my birthday this year, and I was so glad to get him at this pop swap. He looks super good with his hat and his bow and arrows on his back. And I don't know, I just really love this pop. Coming in at number six, technically she really shouldn't be on this list because once I realized what this pop design was going to be, I wasn't as much of a fan as when it was just the concept. And that pop is the Espresso Tina Pop Ride. Now don't get me wrong, I do love this pop, and you know I love Bob's Burgers, my favorite show. And I loved that they were doing a pop ride from the show, like, they, you know, they have all the family members and Teddy and stuff, but to do a whole pop ride was awesome. But then when I saw it, I was like, womp womp. The pop ride is a little boring, like, she's just sitting stagnant on it, like, I wanted to see some pupil dilation, 
some kind of rainbow in the background, some clouds, something. Coming in at number five is this super fuzzy cutie, and that is Winnie the Pooh with his balloon. Now, this one came from the newer Christopher Robin movie. I don't necessarily like Pooh more in the Christopher Robin movie. I just like Pooh in general. Um, people have called me Pooh. They tell me I look like Pooh, all that good stuff. And he was a big part of my childhood. And just the fact that he comes with this little balloon and he just looks so cute and like not a care in the world made me really want to get this pop. So it's just the idea of Pooh in general and not the fact of like Christopher Robin the movie. But I think he looks so good and I actually I really really love that balloon detail. Coming in at number four is another pop ride. Now when this thing was coming out when they announced it for I think it came out for New York Comic Con? Or San Diego Comic Con? I can't remember now at this point. That was months ago. But when they announced this pop coming out, I was so freaking excited. A lot of people were mad because they made the character riding in it super tiny. And usually pop rides have a full-size pop sticking out of the top of whatever the vehicle is. But I really like the way that they did this one. So coming in at number four is the Pizza Planet truck with a little tiny buzz on the inside. I actually really love the detail of Buzz being so tiny because it's like it's from the movie when they're driving the Pizza Planet truck. Now we're down to our top three. These are the heavy hitters. Now for some of you guys that really know me, the order of these pops may surprise you a little bit, but I definitely have an explanation. So coming in in our top three, number three will have to be Baloo. Now you know that I spent heck of money on Baloo. This is the most I've paid for a single pop. But I definitely had to have him because I loved Jungle Book growing up. He definitely doesn't really look like himself from Jungle Book. But the fact that he was blue from Jungle Book, I had to have him. He's kind of boring, you know. It's just a bear. It's not much to him except his little pose and stuff. But I still really loved him and he was highly sought after. He was like number two on my wish list. So he definitely had to be a number on this top 12 of 2018. Coming in at number two. Now this is going to be a surprise is Scar from The Lion King. Most people would assume that Scar would be my number one because Scar is my all-time favorite Disney character. I love villains, as you guys know, and Scar was like the best villain of them all for me. Um, I love Lion King, so the fact that the villain is like super cool, his colors are different than everybody else, the way that he moved, talked, sung, all that, I loved it. So when I finally got my hands on this pop, I was so excited. I scored Scar towards the beginning of like my pop collecting. This was from my first ever trade with somebody. I had never done it before and it turned out to be a super success and I got my hands on this guy. All right, my last and final favorite pop of 2018, number one. Now he's also technically a villain from a Disney movie, but people don't really think of him when they think of villains. He's not one of the like top nine, like. Um, Ursula and Maleficent and Scar and all the rest of those characters but he's definitely still a villain from his movie and I just I had to put this pop at number one and that is Prince John from Robin Hood. Now you guys know I was super excited when I got this pop and I unboxed him and that's really the reason I had to make him number one on this list is just the attention to detail on him like I love his crown, I love the jewels of his ring and his little slippers that he wears and his robe and everything. Like this pop just looks so dynamic and so true to who the character was in the movie. I just, I don't know why I have such a soft spot for this pop and I, I just love it. So that's definitely my number one, Prince John. He just looks so freaking good. All right, so that was my top 12 of 2018. Now you guys know what comes next, our final pull from our sock advent calendars. So let's check out what we got. So we're gonna start off with our dark princesses since they were the first pack that we got. So let's see what we got for day 12. I can't believe it's over, guys. I mean, it feels great, but I just can't believe that we've reached 12 full days. Our socks for day 12 are the Evil Queen. I don't really necessarily care for or about the Evil Queen, but she looks really good on these socks. Like, I mean, she looks like super blah, like her facial expression, but I like the design on the sock and, you know, the background wraps all the way around, you know, how I like that. And I love the colors on the sock, super vibrant and dynamic. So this is a pretty good sock in my opinion. If my mom likes them, I may still give them to her, but I probably will keep them for myself. Don't tell her. But 
I'm really digging these socks and I'm sad that we're done with our 12 days of socks, guys. <sighs> okay, la on to the last pair. We got our 90s Nicktoon socks. Okay, so on the front of day 12, we have Cat Dog. I don't think we've seen Cat Dog from these pools yet. So maybe this is actually Cat Dog, but then they might not include any Cat Dog, period, because number day two was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and we never saw turtle socks. So let's just pop it open and see what we actually did get. Here we have day 12. And it is cat dog, and I freaking love these socks. Oh my gosh, I love blue. I love blue socks, just like black. Black and blue are my two favorite sock colors. But these are a nice navy blue. And then we have a super long cat and dog all the way down the sock. And then on, on the whole background of the socks, we have a bunch of bones. And some of the bones are colored in, but most of them are just white and blank in the middle. I freaking love these socks. I love, once again, how the design wraps all the way around. I just love that they included Cat Dog, and they just look so dynamic. Like, these socks are in motion. I can go kick somebody. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is the end of the video. This is the end of 12 Days of Nerdmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it more than me because some of these days stressed me out trying to get you content. And as you know, I wasn't as consistent as I had hoped posting a video on time every day. But hopefully you guys didn't mind it too much. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up down below. And let me know in the comment section, number one, what was your favorite video from 12 Days of Nerdmas? Number two... What was your favorite pop from my top 12 pops of 2018? And number three, what was your favorite pair of socks from all 12 days? You can do one from each box or you can just do one overall. So let me know all that stuff in the comments down below. I'm excited to see what you guys thought of all this. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification. But as always guys, remember, keep it nerdy.